Hey everybody, Kit Cummings, Power of Peace. Thank you so much for stopping by. Quick question, do you have peace? And I'm talking about, do you have peace in the head, in your heart? Is your set point relaxed and joyful? If you said yes, man, start your own channel. <laughs> if you said no, man, drama's killing me. This station is for you. So tune in every day and be the peace you wish to see in the world. Peace. We all need is the peace and rest all. Hey everybody, Kit Cummings. Welcome to The Power of Peace. Today we start a new five-part series on breaking the cycle of addiction. If you look at our society today, man, we are medicated. And there's a lot of things that we do to try to make ourselves happy. Because a lot of people are dealing with stress and depression and anxiety and Man, it's a drama-filled world, and all the information you're getting from your news and social media and coworkers and family and things you play and things you watch and things you listen to, all of it is brain overload. And so the voices in the head kind of get maddening. And if we find out that there's a pill because we saw a commercial that basically everybody's happy, joyous, and free, and there's a little pill that does that, unconsciously we start to develop little coping mechanisms that help us to feel good just for a minute. That's why so many teens are hitting this vape. We've created technology so they can smoke at school and nobody even knows. I can't even imagine that. Back in the day, if you were a smoker, everybody knew it and we kind of looked down on it. And so there was peer pressure not to do that. Now everybody's doing it. And they're reaching for something outside to give them just a little relief from the stress but it doesn't last long, it's gone. And so you reach again. Social media does that. Food can do that. It produces dopamine, it makes you feel better for a second. Obviously alcohol, drugs, porn, you know, it produces chemistry in the brain, but we know it doesn't satisfy. Shame and guilt follow. Rage, road rage, that is a, an addiction. It's someone that gets a charge out of Rage. Rage produces dopamine, believe it or not. And so these things, whether it's shopping or gambling, gambling produces a big dopamine blast as the bet is placed. And so it's the, the hope of reward. But the problem is you can never reach for something outside yourself to heal something inside yourself. So this week, we're going to look at different tips that can help you if you're in that cycle of addiction. It doesn't have to be hardcore drugs. It could be anything that you don't want to do anymore, but keep doing. That's addiction. I'll say that again. Anything that you don't want to do that you continue to do is an addiction. First step is awareness. You've got to create awareness, and that means doing a little study. You know, getting involved in, in different networks. And you don't have to be a, an alcoholic going to AA. It's just we've got to get aware of what we're dealing with. Addiction lies in the primitive brain. And that's where fight or flight, that's where that resides. So when an addict is in the active cycle of addiction, the brain is definitely believing that if you don't get that thing, you're going to die. So you have urges around the same time of the day. You might be like, that's when you reach for something. Definitely when we get home, what do you reach for? I want you to start becoming aware this week and just notice your tendencies to medicate. It can be screens, it can be cigarettes, or it can be drama in your family, which changes your state. First step is awareness. Today, pay attention and you'll start to see addiction around you. And then as we go into tomorrow, figure out what the one that you want to tackle is. That if I could overcome this, I'd be a better version of me. So tune in. Tomorrow we'll have step two. But today, be aware and be the change you wish to see in the world. Peace. Thank you so much for stopping by The Power of Peace. I hope this is encouraging you. If it is, subscribe, follow along. There might be one of these dailies that come up that is built just for you. And you might be able to share it and help somebody, but you won't know if you don't subscribe. So please follow us. And each week we'll have a new series, a new thought with short tips about how you can break free, be free, and have the peace that you seek. See you next time on The Power of Peace. Power